Jim Clouk, a.k.a. Checker Pro Joe here on the radio program. Did you know that not all heating and air conditioning technicians are the same? A lot of guys probably don't know what they're doing, but Schaefer's does. Hey, Nathan, how are you? Hey, Jim, how are you? I'm living the dream. Thank you so much for joining me today here on the program. I know you guys do something that most companies in your space don't do. And that is training your techs on typical common equipment that people might have, I guess, from from like yesterday's install, maybe even up to five, 10 years ago. I'm not sure about that. But you guys train in-house on actual equipment instead of training on people's equipment at their house. Yeah, absolutely. So. Uh, great question. Definitely comes up a lot. Definitely something, one of the many things that helps set us apart. Right. And so mm. training is, is something that's extremely, uh, important to us. And we take very seriously every single person on our team, myself included, uh, goes through over 250 hours of training per year. And that's ongoing. So whether this is your number one or your number 10, 20, 30, right. And, and on our team, you're going to continue to train, continue to learn. Now, as far as the different platforms, yes, we have a, uh, depends on your position, right? As far as the technical side, though, and the technicians, uh, we have a training lab here at our facilities where we have over, uh, you know, about eight to 10 systems over there of different types of systems, different ages of systems uh, that are all fully up and running and operational. So we can take and bug those, troubleshoot them, uninstall them, reinstall them, uh, practice, even communication, right? Um, you might have the best tech in your home, but if they can't communicate what's wrong with your system, how does the how does the consumer understand or know what makes sense as far as what needs to be fixed? Obviously, the broken item is obvious, but other things to prevent failure. So we we can practice and train on all kinds of different things uh, when it comes to that training lab. Uh, now, with that also, we've also got partnerships with some of the best schools in the country. And so we're partnering with one in Weatherford, Texas and one in Little Rock, Arkansas. And so before a guy's out live on his own uh, in the field, we after they go through our in-house trainings, um, which we have a, a program for that. We then ship them off to that school. And those schools range from one week to six week courses. And uh, they go through a more extensive training there. And it's usually focused on a given area, right? Or a given type of assessment, further advanced diagnostics and different things. And so, uh, yeah, we have virtual VRF trainings uh, where they're working on things virtually. And so, I mean, just all kinds of different levels of training. Uh, and extremely, extremely important. We, li we live in an ever-changing world, right? The technology and the equipment's changing every day. We got to stay up to date. I totally agree. I have been working with home service professionals for 20 years. A lot of them, especially the smaller companies, will train on the job in the field. Pros and cons to that. How do you feel about that? Yeah, I mean... <laughs> If we're starting there and that's our baseline, that's our only place to train, that can be kind of worrisome, right? Um, what about when something happens, right? Just the risk and the and the that side of it as far as for the for the consumer. Um, now on the other side of it, yes, there's always gonna be things, but as long as they're with somebody or a lead on that job, there's always gonna be things. Heck, I learn something new every day. I'm sure you learn something new every day, you know, in your profession. And so there's always gonna be ongoing training, and some of that may or may not be on the job, but there needs to be a program in place. Um, that gets the basis down, right? That where that person comes in, that technician comes into a home, they're confident in what they're doing so that the 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 client, they can be confident in the technician that's coming into your home, that they know what they're doing um, for the safety aspect. You got to think in, in heating, cooling, we work with some of the most dangerous things in the home. We work with gas, electric, water, exhaust. I mean, it's a catastrophe waiting to happen if we're not well-trained and, and prepared and ready. Yeah, what I like about your system, because it is a system, everyone at Schaefer knows what all the technicians know because you train them in the facility and when you send them out to be trained at the other facilities. As a homeowner, I feel good about the fact that your team has already been trained in a systematic way, not on my equipment. So when right. you're coming out, you know, you're already all trained. And so I brought that up because there are a lot of other companies, nothing against them because they really have no choice, but to train their new technicians on someone's equipment out in the field. And I, I just don't necessarily think that's the most ideal thing. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. All right, Nathan, as always, thank you so much for joining me today here on the program.
You can contact Schaefer Heating and Cooling by simply going to the description of this podcast. All their contact information is there. Thanks, Nathan. All right. Thank you. Have a phenomenal day.